to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. And here he is, that passionate digital artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Hey, Xavier, how's it going? Great, Jeff, how are you? Super! Who's your friends there? Well, everybody met Alaska last week, but this is Tina Louise. Tina Louise. Hi, Tina Louise. Yes. And Alaska just seems to respond straight up to you uh, in the intro. <laughs> he likes my intro. Yes, this is Tina Louise. Uh, she's my 11-year-old uh, chihuahua, and she would be considered my painting pal. <laughs> your painting pal. Yes, when I'm uh, uh, working on the computer, uh, working on the digital uh, you know, parts of my paintings. She's usually sitting right there next to me in her little dog bed. Nice. Uh, very, very good dog. When we got her uh, early on, we didn't realize that she had a shunted liver, and the doctor said the longest that she would live is two years. She just turned 11 this past uh, December. That is awesome. That's only because she's got loving and caring parents in you and Rachel. She's a good girl. Say hi. <laughs> All right, I'll put her next to me. See how she does right there. Make sure she doesn't fall off the stick. Yep. Whoa. Okay. Uh oh. Right there. Buddy. That may not be the All right, no, optimal perfect. location. She's, she's had near misses, but she doesn't fall. Okay, very good. Well, what do you got for us this week, Jeff? Well, this week it's pretty cool. Um, I've been, uh, you know, we the, the main part of, of, of the video blog is to promote digital art digital fine art and all the different mediums and work on it as an and make it a, a, an accepted medium and when we started this I believe it was March of 2011 right right which is three years so three years our three-year anniversary is this month awesome it's pretty close because of where we were at and really the promotion of, of this and the acceptance, the digital art has come such a, so far because really what it's done is it started to make itself into a movement. And there's a couple things that you can kind of see or um, trends that are starting to happen that is coming about now that, that tell you that the acceptance of digital art as a, a true movement and a true medium is is full and on its way. It's it's coming the if not already um, accepted in the the art world and the fields that and and with the people that matter, but it's becoming its acceptance publicly on the low end is there but we are talking more of an acceptance of its own art form and what there is now is if you search on the internet there's a lot of different articles written on digital art um, digital art through photography digital art through illustration digital art websites selling digital art there is now a museum Help me out with this, Xavier. I think you're going after Museum of Digital Fine Arts. Right, and then there's Digital Arts California. Yes. Which, those websites are strong, strong websites showing high quality digital art. Now, working with part of my medium being digital art and the other part of my medium, medium being conventional art, it it changes things up for me just a little bit because I'm combining the two worlds to make something that something new. And but I understand what digital art means and what a true digital artist. There's some just unbelievable digital artists out there. And in the coming weeks, I'm going to do some research and I'm going to be doing some contacts. See if either I can get some guests on as far as, you know, interviewing or if we can just promotion of specific people, um, specific digital art artists that I go through 
find out, and I want to do kind of a series of maybe the next between 6 to 12 weeks where we cover each week a new digital artist. Now, anybody out there who wants to be that, you can contact me uh, through this, you know, through, through YouTube. Contact me on Facebook or Twitter. I am really pushing now lately for the last couple of days. I've, I've changed a little bit where I use Instagram, which is in itself a form of low-end digital art that a lot of people like to use, but I'm using that as so far as self-promotion, so you can kind of check me out on Instagram now. Uh, and really, it's an exciting time, like I always talk about, because as the, the digital art movement goes further, the quality of the art is, is there, but also the, the ability to print this art and display this art, not just through video and monitors, but canvas and metal prints and the high quality prints, it just keeps getting better and more attainable to the artists. So it's, it's a very exciting time for digital art. Really, it's something that if you don't really kind of check out, you need to check out now. Um, I'll have links to the Museum of Digital Art and Digital Art California on this blog. Check them out. Check out the, 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 the artwork and the creativity that when you give artists a medium, it's just a matter of time before they figure that medium out and exploit it to its fullest potential. And we're getting to this point where some of the artists are just, just absolutely phenomenal. So that's it for, for this week. It's, it was a little bit, it's, it was an exciting week for me in review. I was up at launch, the launch house again this week. I hung, hung the Cape Cod series up there. So really the launch house has been infiltrated with all my artwork. Uh, I haven't gotten the date, but we've gone a little bit further um, working with what the, the event's gonna be. But when hopefully by next week, I'll have a date and we'll be planning for uh, some time in May. And really I'm getting close. I'm working on, a, on the painting of Niagara Falls. I'm getting close to finishing that. I'm going to be printing out all these paintings that I did over the week, over the winter. I've got, uh, I've got Cleveland Rocks, the USA. I've got, I've got a, I've got a bunch of paintings to print out, and then I'll be working on the. It's it, the weather's starting to break here in Northeast Ohio the, today, or we've gotten up into the 40s. We're supposed to get into the 50s. So the, the time for conventional paintings coming up, but with the Niagara Falls painting, the Times Square painting, I've got someplace else and Cleveland Rocks to USA. I'm going to be a busy guy. So Sounds like it. I'll keep you updated on what's going on, but make sure just do something. This Check out some digital art this weekend. We'll talk again next week. Thank you, Jeff. Take care, folks.